How's it going guys, Lucian Sword here, and I gotta say, I get people that ask me like, Hey Lucian, can you teach me uh, strings and combos with X, Y, and Z legend or X, Y, Z weapon? But, and, I'm, and I might, I might, but in this video, I thought, you know what, everybody always wants to know like what weapon combos and stuff, but I think that before you even get into any weapons, you should honestly master unarmed because it's the single thing that unifies every single legend. So if you get good with unarmed, you will probably have a much better chance at being better with every single legend in the game. So with that being said, I want to teach you guys some basic unarmed combos and strings. Okay, the difference between a string and a combo in Brawlhalla World is basically a string is a combo that you can be dodged out of. And a combo, a true combo, means that you can't dodge out of it because you're stunned forever. Okay? Like that was a true combo, there was no dodge frames. Okay, I can't even do it now. See it said dodge window 4. That means that technically the enemy had a chance to dodge. Alright, so here's some basic unarmed combos. And if you get good with unarmed, you, like I said, you're going to be probably good with every legend at least. Uh, because you can rely <laughs> or lean on your unarmed even if you suck with the whatever weapon that you're using. Alright, so basic unarmed combos that I like to do. Usually start with a neutral light and a chase dodge. A chase dodge just means you're dodging at the enemy after you attack them and you get a, ch a nice chase attack, like that, okay? It could be in any direction, but usually you want to chase directly at the enemy. So you can do neutral light, chase dodge, neutral light, chase dodge, into side light, into down light. I'm just gonna do the whole thing and then I'll explain it after. All right, so let's rewind that a sec. Alright, so this is a combo that I do all the time. It doesn't matter if, who the person is, whether they're a pro or a noob, they are susceptible because unarmed can be very, very good in certain situations. So it starts off easy enough with a neutral light. You chase dodge into a side light, into a chase dodge down light, into a jump ground pound, into recovery, into neutral light, and then sometimes you can chase and get another recovery. It just depends on their damage. I'll do that again in real time. Actually, there's so many different variants uh, ways to do this combo, to be honest. Sometimes I like to do that. All right, so... This is a different way you can do it. You go side light into chase dodge down light, into the ground pound, into the recovery, into gravity cancel recovery. That's actually a good kill combo if they're in red. Another way you could do it. All right, nice little easy combo there. That's a good kill move as well if they're close to the edge. Although it does require that you actually get that ground pound off. Alright, so this is a pretty good unarmed combo that can lead into an ki instant kill um, if you are able to pull off some reads. So let's just go ahead and see how it goes. It starts with a neutral light. Chase dodge side light to kick him over there. Down light and then stomp him down. Turn around usually, down air. Jump, ground pound. Sometimes though you might want to just do a gravity cancel down light to pop him up and ground pound again. But it's a little more flashy to do it that way but it's harder. And then you can down air again or you, if you want to be really risky and flashy you could even, again, gravity cancel down light. Alright, so let's say your enemy is in red health, right, and you don't have a weapon. It's actually really easy to kill with unarmed in a lot of different ways, okay? Um, one way is to just do down light into gravity cancel recovery. That's a very small dodge window. Um, an even faster 
move is to just do a straight up recovery, down light recovery. Um, but sometimes if you do the down light, they'll spot dodge. And that's always beautiful when you can read the spot dodge. So, for instance, <laughs> like that. Um, it really depends. Like, you want to you wanna try to mess them up. And don't forget, if they're on the edge like this and you down light, and you ground pound, most likely they're going down. If I could actually do it. Wait, why is position reset? There we go. Alright. How about how about this? The double! Unstoppable! But usually uh, you just wanna downlight and jump right on top. Legendary! Just practice doing this over and over and over and over and over until you can do it in your sleep. There are literally so many unarmed combo guys, I could probably go all day. So that one is... You notice though that almost every single combo in unarmed starts with the downlight. Because it pops them up for so long. Look how long they're stunned. They're stunned for so long. You can also go like that. You could also go like that. It really depends. If you read the spot dodge, sometimes doing a longer attack like that is actually really flashy. If, if you don't expect the spot dodge, just go ahead and do something like that. It really depends on the map too. All right, enough with the training. Let's actually go ahead and fight a person, and I'm actually going to use all this training that I just got with unarmed. And let's see how I do in an unarmed only fight. Just to show you what an unarmed only fight is like. And yes, this is experimental, but likely I'm going against high plat or diamond, because even though there's no elo in experimental, there is a secret elo system. That's why, like, if you're a diamond, you're never going to go against, like, a bronze. You're usually fighting people around your skill level, even in experimental. You just don't know it. Alright. My bad. I'm using unarmed only. Let's do it. Almost got that read gimp. There you go, boys. Unarmed completely beat a Mordex. Almost got the three stock with unarmed. Like I said, it doesn't matter. I, I Okay, I, I do know how to play Val, but even if I didn't, it wouldn't matter because I'm just doing unarmed. Oh, I didn't mean to pick that it up. Oh, he got me. I don't know what I was doing down there, but he punished. Well done, well done.
That's game. So there you go, guys. One with only unarmed. First try. GG Red Knight, or Ned, Knight Red 999. That was fun. So hopefully this video helped you guys out a little bit. Um, let me know if there's, I know, I you don't even have to let me know because I already know that almost every single day I get people that are like, Lucia, can you teach me sword combos or gauntlet combos or whatever? Um, how about uh, comment below which weapon you would like me to show you combos on and then whichever comment gets the most upvotes, that's probably the weapon I'm gonna do next. All right, so comment below which weapon you want me to show you combos and strengths, and then everybody up upvote that comment if you see it. And yeah, we'll go from there. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is Lucian Sword. Oh, by the way, people have been asking when does the season end? I believe it ends on the 10th. I could be wrong, it's either, no, maybe it's the 12th. Sorry, it's the 12th, I think, because that's a Wednesday. So you got a few more days if you're watching this, the day it comes out, you got a few more days. And then uh, season is over. Alright guys, this is Lucian Sword. I hope you guys enjoyed. Take it easy.